Good, good. So this wasn't too mana efficient. But at least I did my best, you know. I mean, this is just super good. Like, there's nothing I can say, but yeah. Well done, Malone. Well done. I like what you did here. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful freaking Monday. Well, let me say it. Wonderful Monday. Everybody hates Mondays and loves lasagna. So, a little Garfield reference here. Thank you all so very freaking much. I, I sadly didn't see my band this weekend. It sadly didn't happen. But hey, things happen in life sometimes. You know, you don't always, you know, if life gives you lemons, squeeze into your eyes because they will be shooting right into your eyes and burn your eyes with the sour, sorry goodness. Also, Love Pill, thank you very much for becoming Zed with the Great Hearted. And Lucas Timmer, thank you very freaking much for upgrading from Zed to Gold Span Dragon. If you aren't in the Discord, join the Discord. And if you are in the Discord, let me know it is you so I can upgrade you right freaking away. Also, congratulations to Ali Cassis to winning the freaking Neon Dynasty Championship. And talking about that, enough with the yammering. Let's get into the dungeon. Hammering. We are playing a freaking Orzhov dungeon sack. Yes, there is one red source, because we do have the Valky in here. So hey, maybe we're able to play it. But this is standard. This is not alchemy. They were playing alchemy, and I was wondering, is it good in standard too? And I can tell you it is. It kind of is. So there is a lot of cards that just make this deck good by itself, you know? We do have the Arcan. Super good against runes, because people are still playing runes. We have the Wandering Emperor, just super good against everything. Like, you get yourself creatures on the field, you pump your creatures, and that is just super good. You know, especially if you have like a Triumphant Adventurer. Like, it has Death Touch, and it has First Strike as long as you attack in, but if you can like, it, now they block with like, I don't know, two creatures, you know? They just block with two one ones. Because they think, hey, at least I get rid of it. Well, you plash in the Wandering Emperor. You put a, two, a counter on it, it becomes a 2-2. Two, two. Now both of these 1-1s one, will freaking die. It is so good. So, we are a dungeon deck. And as you can see, there is a lot of good dungeons. But the best one, to be honest, is the Lost Mine of Fandalver. You go in the cave entrance, you scry one. You either get yourself a goblin if you're up against aggressive decks. Or you get yourself a treasure token if you don't have lands. Super good. Then uh, you go into the dark pool or the storeroom of the Fungi Cavern. And then you draw yourself a freaking card. So, in four turns you have completed this dungeon. And that is everything you want. Because you also have the Nadar. So maybe you would complete it even freaking faster. Because when it enters the battlefield or attacks, you freaking venture into the dungeon. And once you have completed at least one dungeon, all of your other creatures get plus one, plus one. And that is super nice. Another card that is super good once you completed the dungeon is Precipitous Drop. I did say it's super fast. So, creature gets minus two, minus two, and you venture into the dungeon, or it gets minus five, minus five if you completed at least one dungeon. That is super good. It doesn't stack. It doesn't become 10 10 if you have two dungeons. Same here. It's just at least one dungeon and then it's good. You know, that's it. That's, that's just it. And that is just super freaking nice. I have to say, these two creatures, I totally underestimated them for so long, but they just got me going when I saw the finals at all of like, all of the three days. The dungeon mechanic really, like, impressed me. So here we try it again in standard. Precipitous Drop, for example, only costs two in alchemy. Will it be good for three? I still think it is. Triumphant Adventurer is a two one in alchemy. Is it still good here? We will have to find out. We don't have the Forsaken Crossroads, aka the Forsaken Croissant in here. So, uh, mana fixing will be a little bit tougher. But we do have all of these lands to make up for it. So, another super good card in here is the Liza. Once they wipe your board, you just get back your creatures. If they sacrifice something, they lose it forever. You know, and that's also super nice. You have a 4-5 flying with lifelink. That will turn the game around real freaking quick if you're up against an aggressive deck and they don't have a removal for this. Well, now you're getting four life back every single turn. 
If the dungeon is complete, it's five life. And if you're going like into the storeroom, you know, the third on the left, you put a one one counter on Eliza. Now it's a five six. Now it's a six seven. Maybe even a seven eight. Who knows? It's a lot of freaking life gain that you're getting. And that is just super good. And once the creatures are dead, you graveyard trespass them or graveyard glutton them, getting yourself a little bit more of life. It is just so insanely good. Then we have the Intrepid Adversary. Because once our board is full with stuff, we just attack in, we gain some life back. It's only a two off, but it's still very, very good. With Infernal Grass and Power Word Kill as removal, but we also have three Hagra Marlins. That also work as land because we only have 23 lands, so don't you forget that. Add to the rest because, you know, it had to come back sooner or freaking later. And it was in the deck that inspired this deck. So hey, like I said, this deck is inspired by Alicacisa's deck, but I like made it work for best of one. I tried to, you know, switch things around a little bit for freaking best of one. The March of the Otherworld Light, super good against creatures. If they have artifacts, super good. If they have enchantment, super freaking good. Vanishing Verse, just a powerhouse. One of the best cards out of Strixhaven. We have to say it as it is. And uh, what did I forget? Well, you know, it's a white deck. If you have white in your deck, you're not playing the Arcan of Emeria in today's standard. You're doing something wrong. Something really, really freaking wrong. Land-wise, we have the four Bright Blind Pathway and the four Shattered Sanctum. One Needle Verge Pathway, because Valky. We have the one Eganjo, five beautiful, beautiful planes for beautiful, beautiful swamps. We have one Takenuma, which is insanely good, to be honest, because it can bring something back. And we have three Hive of the Eye Tyrants, just to get in there with the last bit of damage. You know, if they cannot block it, that's just super good for us. So, yeah. We will find out if this is good in Standard 2. Of course, this was meant to be an Alchemy Best of 3 deck. But why shouldn't it work in Best of 1 Standard 2? Well, we'll have to find out together. I'm Mattis Malone, and I will see you all in those Delvin games. So I have not been playing Magic for three freaking days. I dropped from 469 to 1500 something. That is insane. That is the most drop I ever freaking had. All right. I like this hand, you know? I, I have to say, I like it. We go with the Shattered Sanctum here. Also, we're rocking, you know, the good old... And I forgot the name. Screw me. I forgot the name. All right. I'm going with the Adventurer here. We have to drop for afterward. Oh, we don't. We don't have to drop. We do have the Shattered Sanctum, though. Uh, they're humans. They're humans. All right. And we do have the Power Word Kill if we want to. So maybe we're doing that afterwards. First off, we're doing this. All right, we're crying. Always go for this one first. The duress. Yeah, I mean, they could have stuff, you know. It's not like they don't. And we're making ourselves uh, the goblin. Good, good. Because we are all about that power. Give me that power. We're still doing this on the Luminarch. So, yeah. Nothing. Or maybe the Catilda. I think it's going to be the Catilda first. Depending on what they're doing here. I think that they will, like, you know. Okay. That is still all okay to me, you know. For now. For now. They're not doing anything. I like that. I really freaking do. Alright. Going with the Catilda because it seems that they're mana screwed. So, yeah, let's... Let's, like, you know, capitalize on that. Bringing an Adar down. And I feel like I'm attacking in. Drawing a card here is super good. Holy smokes, this is freaking dungeons, you know? And it's still looking so tasty. Still looking so incredibly tasty. Alright, we're getting rid of the Chaplain first. They think that they're super safe, but they aren't. They just aren't. We do have the another... Uh, pre okay. Yeah, all of this is okay, you know. We have another drop. And now that we completed a dungeon, it will be more brutal for them. Yeah, the Mana Scrooge is real. Super real. And we could also go with the... Uh, 
Okay. Now let's do this. Alrighty. Looking A-OK. -okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Are we being greedy? Let's not be greedy here. Let's just not. Alright, I like that. I really do. And I'm attacking it, of course. Making myself... A treasure token this time. Because then I can use the March of the Otherworldly Light, you know? And that is just super good. Because I think that they will be putting it on the Luminarch as Okay. Yeah, we're attacking the Luminarch first. Alright. And now we're doing this. Wait, did I do it for zero? No, okay. Good, good. So this wasn't too mana efficient. But at least I did my best, you know? I mean, this is just super good. Like, there's nothing I can say, but yeah. Well done, Malone. Well done. I like what you did here. And hey, Scoop! Oh! The championship deck does what it has to do. Top 1000, let's freaking go! Mmm. The value that you get out of dungeons is still real. I had never believed in it, to be honest. But you know, after the championship, I said, hey, can this also work in standard? And obviously it can. All right, I like this hand, as we do have the Vanishing Verse, we do have the Adventurer, we do have an Arcan. And you should never forget that people are still playing runes. So, yeah, let's do it like this now. Let's have a look at their hand. I told you, people are still playing runes. That is exactly what I just said. All right. We're getting rid of this here now. We're still kind of fine because we do have the Arkan. So, yeah. What are you even supposed to do about that anymore? Alrighty. So they need a rat source. If they don't have a rat source, that's pretty bad for them. If they do, that's pretty good for them. They don't. They don't have a rat source. Alrighty. Bring down another Juka Naturalist. That is super fine by me. And uh, yeah, that is going to be more or less the last thing that you're doing, you know? Because I will be bringing down that Arkan. You can have that. You can have that. Alright. So first things first, we are attacking in. Let's cry here. Hmm, yes. Yes, I want that. I really do. They will not block. What? It is first strike! Get it. Get out of here, NT3272. At uh, 27. I know words. I know how to read, you know. This Arkan is just bananas. Yeah, that's the last thing you're doing right now. It really freaking is the last thing that you're doing. All right, I am still attacking in. And we're making ourselves a treasure token here. Because that way, if they attack in, we can, you know, just... Do stuff. If we want to. Alright. They don't want us to do stuff. We go with the Ndar here. Nice little blocker, you know. Hmm. Let's make sure that they don't get any life. Good, good. So, now even if they play a rune, that's still alright with me, you know. And they scoop! Oh my lord! Two to oh. one, uh, one more like rag. I uh, can't even express in words how crazy this is to me. This freaking dungeons, really? In standard, it's not even the alchemy version. It's standard. Get out of here, runes. Get out of here. So who would have thought that the Arcan of Emeria is going to be the most played card? In a long time. We're up against Derp. Derp. Oh, my little fish. I hope you're doing good. Alrighty. I like it. We do have the early removal. We do have the Arkan. We do have the late removal. We do have the very late removal. Let's go with this. Is this Mono White? I think it is. It, oh, it's not. It's like another. Oh, okay. Okay. I wonder. I really do what this is. Well, we will see. We do have the Vanishing Verse. We do have the Power Word Kill. 
So yeah, let us just see what the opponent's doing. It might be a landfall deck, you know, for all I know. Oh, okay. Let's destroy this. What? The heck, man? What the heck? I I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just confused. This Prosperous can go as well. So right now we're a little bit of control deck, you know? It's crying because uh, we drew a lot of lands already. We don't want any more. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. I I appreciate it. I, I brush my hair. What is this? Alrighty. So we're going with the white source here. And let us just see what opponent's doing. I mean, we do have all this removal, you know. We have it all. Let's make them regret their life choices. Good. All right. Yeah, I think there was a nice regretting their life choices move here. And we go with Eliza here now. All righty. So, we will get so much life. Who's the life gain deck now? Who is the life gain deck now? Okay, well, that, that was good, wasn't it? That was pretty good. Alrighty. We're going with the adventurer first. We're going with the Arkan second. So, if they attack in here, that's fine. I'll take it. And I got my own intrepid adversary now. What you gotta do about that? Can I? Yes, okay. No, I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. That's fine by me. Making a little goblin. Because that goblin can now block the Entrapid Adversary. And that is just super good. What? It, but I would have never thought that this deck is so good even in standard, you know? I mean, okay, yeah, we're up against some wonky life gain deck here. But that is still fine, you know? So next turn we do have the Emperor, which is super good. Even though I like to call her the Empress, because let's be honest, she is. And it derp, derp, derp. Don't, don't be that person. Don't, don't you do it. Don't, don't, don't you do it. You see, my hair is even standing up here. It's standing up out of sheer, like, come on now, derp. Come on now. Why has there be to uh, be one every single freaking time? You know, I totally understand. There's salt involved, but you know, there's water for that. There's other remedies than just ignoring your opponent. You know, just throwing your phone in the toilet and saying, hey, I'm done, so I don't want to play anymore. That's just quick sauce. Quick sauce, I tell you. Oh, they're back. They are back. Nice. Nice. Let's give them a little slabity slap. All right, we are attacking in with everything. Because next turn we can just play the Wandering Emperor. We're putting the counter on the Intrepid Adversary. And they scoop! They give a friendly wave around their hand! Goodbye, my friend! Goodbye! Mm -mm. Only got 60 ranks, but that is alright! At least they didn't rope us! So, I'm sorry I said anything there. But get out of here! Alrighty, we're up against Lost One, Two, Three. We're going first. I like it. I really freaking do. Alrighty, let let's try with this hand. Let's freaking try. We don't have a, only red source here. That is always a good sign, you know. Or is it? It's runes once more. Come on now, people. There's other decks but runes. There just is. Alrighty, Triumphant Adversary Adventurer is pretty good here. And you know the Vanishing Verse is also pretty nice, depending on what they have. If they do have the, uh, the green-white one, the Kami of Transient. That is a super good target for uh, my Vanishing Verse. So first things first, we are attacking in. Let's cry a land on top. I really need a land. Another Nadar. Not really. Not really. All right. And then we're chilling. 
We have the vanishing verse for afterwards, so it's all right. And if they play a rune onto this, that is mana badly spent, you know? Just mana badly freaking spent. All right, there's circle of confiding my triumphant adventurer. I like that. But uh, yeah, that's what you get for doing that. That is what you get for messing with me. Another commune with spirits. Getting yourself a red source, I reckon, if you can. I mean, the art is so cool. Look at them. Look at them go ham. All right, well, I mean, you know, that is just exactly what we want to do here. Just exactly what we want to do here. I mean, I wish I had a land, you know. I don't, so yeah. Let us see if they have another circle of confinement, though. Chances are high that they do. Oh, this Arkin. Oh, Arkin. You're just doing them dirty, aren't you? Oh, yes you are. Oh, yes you are. Alrighty. So we go with the Nadar here. And uh, we're making ourselves a treasure token because it looks like we are missing some land drops. Which is super freaking annoying. But still, it can only do one thing each turn, you know? And then we play the Wandering Emperor and then goodbye, my friend. Good riddance to you, sir. I could also go with the drop. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on my Nadar. And then finish the dungeon. Get the Room Forge Champion out of here. I feel like that's a good choice, to be honest, you know? I feel like it is. So we're doing it. Alright. Uh, oh, we can't put a counter down. Well, then we're gaining one life, making him lose one life. And then we are attacking in. That will finish the dungeon. Give us all the advantage. Oh my lord, dungeons. Dungeons, my friends. Freaking dungeons. Is this real life? Is, is this really happening? Is this really a good deck? Wowzers. Just... Just wowzers. I can't believe it. Well, that's the only thing you're doing this turn, my friend. That's the only freaking thing you're doing this freaking turn. And you know what I'm doing? I'm going full force. Full freaking force. Yes. Yes, I am. There you go. Freaking dungeons. Making them lose even more life. I don't care. Let's get into the lair of the mad lad. Holy smokes. Holy... Freaking smokes! Dungeons are doing them dirty! What? I, I just... I'm in utter shock. I honestly am in utter freaking shock. Nice. Nice. I, I just can't believe it. I just can't. Mukoyoshi. 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 We go in first once more. Oh, I really like it, but the hand is just so bad that I can't keep it. This hand is way better. Way better. We're getting rid of our only removal, sadly. Sadly. But we do have a nice curve, you know? And we're up against runes, aren't we? Oh, do we not? Okay, I like it. And there it goes, our removal back into our hand. That is super good. So this is going to be, uh, artifacts. Yes, it is. Freaking artifacts. But that is all right. Oh, they're just removing it right away. Okay. You do that, my friend. You freaking do that. I don't mind. Well, I do. Honestly, I do. But hey, always crying first. No, we do have the Hagra Marlin and the Precipitous Trop. Is that how you say it? Precipitous Trop? Precipitous? I have no clue. But we are now sure that we are up against artifacts, which is all right, you know. It's not the best, it's not the worst. We do have this, so yeah. Value Town incoming. Freaking incoming. They do have the uh, destroy target creature, draw two cards. Yes, there it is. But it's still all right, you know. It's still all good. We, we're still kind of the advantage here. Kind of. And uh, once we have the Graveyard Trespasser down, we're also fine. We're making ourselves the Gobo. Because the more creatures we have, the better. And uh, we still have the Hagra Marlin. 
if we really want it next turn. So where can we go here? Counter and life. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Alrighty. So where we go with the Hagra Maul in here? Well, first things first. You really still do have stuff. I don't like that one bit. Not in the slightest. Oh, no, I don't. Look at how much removal they already had. And that still was kind of removal, you know, that guy here. That guy right here, still kind of removal. Alright, we do have the Takanuma, so it's still alright, you know. But that is a turn that we have to spend only to get this down. So I will be going with the Graveyard Trespasser first. Because it presents a lot of freaking damage. And then we can go with the... There it is. I was just... I was just waiting for you, my friend. I really was. Alright. Alright. That is super good. But I still feel like this is the right call, you know? Because maybe we still find another land? You really still have answers! You really still do! Okay, well you don't. Good, good. So we will be doing nothing during our turn. So that a graveyard trespasser can transform. They, they do. They do still have stuff. They do still have freaking stuff. Alright. Yep. Why not, you know? Why freaking not? This card, the card. Only called Anvil. That is pretty good. Sooner or later, they will be out of stuff, you know? Sooner or freaking later, they will. And then what? Also, I think that... Maybe it is time to drop the Liza, you know? Maybe it is. Maybe them, uh... They could have another Infernal Grasp. They have another Deadly Dispute. That is, like, more than annoying. The card draw here is super good. Oh, no. Oh, no. And they found a land. Oh, no. I don't like that one bit. And the blood! Okay, they're going ham! They are going- Oh, come on now! Really? Really? Okay, so give me a land here, please. A land would be fine. I would love to have land here. Well... That ain't no land. But I still feel like this is the right call here. Like, they have to get another Infernal Grasp. I don't think that any other removal can be good here for them. And now don't you tell me that they have it. Don't you freaking tell me that they have it. No, until end of turn, yes, okay. Am I attacking in? I am attacking in. I am the aggressor now. So we got a game on our hands here. Really do. Could have sacrificed it, but they didn't. So yeah, their call. Their freaking call. We still have the Triumphant Adventurer. They sacrifice uh, two target creature cards. So what we can do is still get rid of the creature cards. So we would see how lucky they are here. Well, a little. They're a little lucky. But we still have the Liza, so I'm still pretty happy about it, you know? And all I have to do is to get rid of their uh, Blood Tide Harvester. That is the one I really, really want to get rid of here. Okay. Still, it cannot really be attacking in. The Sauron! How freaking lucky are they? Like, let's be honest. How how good are their draws? Are the Medoc Massacre now, even? And they do have the manas for it. Unfreaking believable. Unbelievable. Okay. All right, well, that is good for them, isn't it? That's just good for them, freaking, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we're getting rid of the Sauron anyways here. Bringing down the Triumphant Adventurer. It will be coming back to our hand once I use the Meatwork Massacre here. And then we're ending the turn. And while the Meatwork is on the stack, I will be Vanishing Versing. So yeah, all good. All still pretty freaking good. All right. What? Oh, they are doing it for a five. Okay, I was just, I was just very confused here. 
very freaking confused. It's not looking good, my friends. Honestly, they have all the card advantage. They do have these, uh, you know, blood tokens here now. They have the meat of mask around the field. So yeah, not looking too good. Not looking too good. It is looking, but not good. Not good at all. Well, the Arkin is something, you know. I'm going with the Triumphant Adventurer first. Like, we're still not done, so. But uh, they have a little bit more advantage with this and this. Like, they can do us dirty real fast. Real good. So, yeah, we will see what they're doing. They don't have any creatures for you now. So that is a good thing, you know. They drew land here. Maybe they should have sacrificed it. Oh, that is more than annoying. More than freaking annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of counting on that to happen. This costs one only. That is so insane. So freaking insane. All right. Yeah, as I said, this is ain't looking too good. It just ain't looking too good. I hope we draw something of value here. It's a land. It's a freaking land. I don't appreciate that one bit game. I really don't. I really freaking don't. So we're still being the aggressors here. Sadly, uh, yeah. This ain't looking too good right now, as I already said. But we're still trying to be the aggressors here. Putting it on the hive, the eye tyrant. They aren't blocking. All right. What are they thinking? They cannot use this during their turn. So yeah, they are gaining a life here, but I still feel like they will be attacking it with everything, you know. And we will be drawing a card. Maybe we can turn this around. Who knows? Who knows? That is still the only thing they're doing. So, yeah. So, yeah. What is your grand plan here? The Arkin is down, my friend. All right, you are attacking in with everything, maybe. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. We'll have to find out. I hope they are. They are. Just attacking in with everything. That's it. I win the game like this. I just... I just win the freaking game like this. Yeah. That, that ain't enough, you know. Oh, it is. It is enough. Because they have this now. Oh, brutal. Freaking brutal. Okay, well, in that case... Let's bring down the Liza, so we can get some life back. And I really want that card draw. I really freaking do. Yeah, that they got two creatures, I forgot about that part. But you know, also, that they're gaining all. All of the only cold anvils, even though they already... That is the third one. And not even after attack. So that is a little bit crazy to me. Just a little bit crazy. Alright. Liza is still super good, you know. Liza is still super freaking good here. I mean, for in life, we're going down to... Uh... Oh, my lord, yeah. You know, this ain't looking too good. From start, like, the two deadly disputes. All the removal in the beginning. The third only called Anvil, like they threw one away, you know? That is the third one here. That, that, that went all of their, all in their favor. Like, all of the three and two offs, very, very good for them. Very, very good. All right. So all they have to do is to sacrifice stuff. What? Why didn't you sacrifice a creature? Why, why didn't you do that? Okay, that is peculiar, but all right. I'll accept it. I'll do accept it. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is pretty smart, of course. That is, of course, pretty smart. Should have seen that one coming. 
you know, as I said, it did go their way pretty freaking fast. They didn't even have to do this. Good game, my friend. It did go their way pretty freaking fast. You know, the Meadok Massacre, if they wouldn't have drawn that, we would have had a real good chance of stabilizing with our Eliza. We would have. Buddy, <coughs> even my voice is dying, just like me. As I said, things went their way pretty long, pretty good. Mmm, get out of here, Shuffler, get out of here. Like, I think that the Meat Hook Massacre was the one thing that really, really sealed the deal here. I really did. I still had to get rid of the Sorin. Like, uh, there was no thing, uh, no thing I could do about that. We're going first. I love it. I really do. All right. So as we do have these, we'll be going with the Hagrid Mall in here. Into the uh, Triumphant Adventurer. And then we do have the... All right. Interesting. We're up against the control deck. So these aren't looking too good right now, are they? Are they? So play your red. Oh my. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's Asper control. It is Asper freaking control. All right, we are attacking in first. They still will have creatures, you know? It's not like they don't. But uh, I really hope that we can find, like... Hmm. What do I want to find here? Not that. I want to find, like, a duress here. I really do. I really freaking do want to find a duress here. All right, are you doing something against my triumphant adventurer? Okay. They aren't. They aren't. Oh, once more, I'm pretty sure that this is Asper. Maybe they do have a counter spell against my Arkan, but do I really care? I kind of would because, you know, getting their lands, yep. Okay, but it's still, like, we got rid of a land here. That is still alright, you know? Okay, they still had one. They still had a land. They're looking at my dungeon, thinking about if it's worth to destroy my triumphant adventurer here. So missing a land drop here was a little bit painful. And them having, of course, a Javari disruption in hand. Also pretty painful. Buddy, buddy. We're creating a treasure. Having a Liza on the field would be pretty good. And maybe this just is Dimir. But if it is, we still have answers, you know? Still have the power kill. We do have the precipitous... Pre, pre, precipitous... Why does that have to be so, so hard to read? Ah, oh, come on now. Really? Really? Okay, well, that is pretty good. Once more a game that's going in favor of our opponents. I don't like that one bit. Not in the slightest. Not in... Oh, come on. I need a land. If I had a land here, it would be so good. The memory... Of course, of course, of course. Yep. Not finding a land here. Pretty bad. We even played our Hagra Brood Pit, you know? Arga Brood Pit? Hagra Brood Pit. All right, so they have a counter spell in hand now. That is super annoying. <laughs> Come on, game. Come on now, really? You give me more Hagras than normal lands? What is this? What? Okay, that's not a counter spell. Maybe we can just deck them. You know that there is a high chance that we might. Like, we still have, like, removal for stuff. So that's all right. We do have this to venture into the dungeon if we have to. Not finding land for the longest time, that was painful. Freaking painful. So is this another... Game. Really. Really. Shuffler. Shuffler is fine. Uh, this Javari disruption was so painful. Just imagine we would still have our creature on the board. That would be so tasty. Alright, they, they 1 million percent have a removal for this. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're locked out already, you know? Locked out already in the first few games. Shuffler's fine. For us, like this is the situation. If you're prepared to go up against creature-based decks and you're going up against this kind of a control deck, like drawing the three cards that are just almost exclusively for creatures, that is just bad. All right. The Nadar is nice here, though. And then having Kraken mana. They still don't have it yet. Alright. Make them lose some life. 
I mean, we do have the power kill. We do have the uh, infernal grasp. So if they do have a kraken, that is the third memory deluge. Like, come on, game. I get three precipitates dropped. They get three. Get, get out of here. <laughs> what? What is this? Like, come on now. The fading up. All right, so they are a kraken deck. One bajillion, two thousand one hundred trillion percento. All right, nine mana. They never missed mana. Never, ever. Never freaking ever. That is also very good for them, isn't it? The Reckoner Bank Buster. Am I getting rid of this here? I can't. I can't. I can now. We will see if I am. Are you countering this? I mean, they have three cards here. So yeah, one of them could be a counter spell. But once more, our plan right now is just to, you know, to deck them. <laughs> that would be super funny. If they now use the bank buster here. They still have mana. I still try. I still freaking try. Like, there's no, no need not to try, you know? Alright, alright. They're taking it. Keeping account spells for other things. All right. <laughs> Look at the card droids out of this world. Just out of this world. All right. They will never ever, never ever not have something when they play the Kraken. Never freaking ever. But we can apply some pressure. Okay. Yeah, we can apply no pressure no more. That is, that's over. That is over. All right, but the Graveyard Trespasser here is nice. Now they have a counter spell. Okay, well, they had it all along, didn't they? Didn't they? Let's have a look at their hand. Let's have a freaking look at their freaking hand. They have another counter spell, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Shuffler is fine. Shuffler is fine. Two and three offs everything. And we have a precipitous. I, I really don't want that. I really really don't want that <laughs> all four of them that is the worst thing that could happen in this matchup the worst thing like <laughs> oh my lord we're 19 cards deep shuffler is so fine get out of here shuffler get get far far away <laughs> just what what even is this what even is this holy smokes holy freaking smokes could go with a precipitous drop on our own triumphant adventurer, but why should we do that? Oh my lord. We still have 28 cards left. Maybe, eh? Maybe we can do it. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Would be pretty funny, you know? But they still have removal for a triumphant adventurer. So yeah. But the more instances they use, the better, you know? I'm fine with that. I really am. Like, they're gaining life, yes, but they only have 25 cards left. With all the card draw that they're using. Hey, maybe we do have a chance sooner or later. Who knows? <laughs> These are all counter spells. These are all freaking counter spells. So we're getting back something here. I think it's going to be the Nadar. We'll have to see. Alright, 23 cards. Maybe we can mill him, you know? We're trying. We're trying. Doing our best here. All of these foretold cards are either side comings or uh, freaking Behold the Multiverse. And they have used two of both, so yeah, there's one of them already still here. Alrighty, let's see what we can get here. The Wandering Emperor. I'm going with the Nadar. I'm going with the Nadar. It presents value right away. Just right away. Here comes another side comment. They don't use it. All right. I like that. I really do. Hmm. We're going with this cry. We are going with this cry. I was thinking about... Oh, yes, I want that. I want that so bad. Alright, we're playing it because if they do have a Kraken here, which they do, which they do, watch and play the Kraken, yes, we can uh, use this one. 
They will be using some mana here. Yeah, I still wonder how many things they do have, you know. The side coming. And maybe another side coming, who knows? But as I said, they will never be out of things the moment they play the Kraken. Never. The Javar... Javari disruption. Really. Yeah, the game is pretty much over. I will still do my best here. I will still try, you know. Why not? Why the heck not? Like, we still have the duress. We can still have a look at their hand. But as I said, Shuffler's fine. Shuffler's so fine. So fine. Alright, so what do you got here, my friend? What do you got? Oh, look at how fine the Shuffler is. Three March of the Wretch already, three Meadok Masker, all of the, like, come on. Really now? Really now? Get out of here, game. Get out of here. Alright, we're still doing this now. And uh, we're making ourselves a treasure token. <coughs> like they can just play another Heartbreak of Horror here, you know? That is the thing. They can just go for another one. Like, why the heck not? Why the freaking heck not? Just go for another one, destroy us right away. And uh, let's give him a good game. Like, our hand, like, we do have things, you know? We do have answers for this kind of deck. We just threw... All the precipitous drop in the world. <laughs> Get out of here, Shuffler. Two games in a row. Get out of here. Alright, I had to take a short break, but I'm back. I'm back, baby. So we're trying to get our revenge here. One more game. And we will be done so for today. We're up against Hexen. Which means witches in German. What, how much rank did I lose here? Alright, we're going first. I like this hand. I really do. I really freaking do. Because we can go Shattered into Hive, into Triumphant, into Arkan later on. Yeah, seems pretty good, you know? Seems really good. We even have the two white sources if we need them. It's mono black goodness. Alrighty. All freaking righty. So, we will see how this turns out for you, my friend. And we will see how this turns out for us, my friends. So. The Shambly Boy. Annoying as freaking heck, I've got to say. That is like the most annoying thing they could have thrown at us here. Alright, but we do have the we do have the uh, wandering emperor, so that is alright. We can't attack in here because you know, shambly boy. So yeah. We will see how this turns out. They're removing the Arkin right away, aren't they? They're just removing it right away. Aren't they? I think that they are. So yeah, they are. They are. <laughs> they don't like that Arkin one bit. They really don't. Alrighty. Okay, well, you know, sometimes if life gives you lemons, uh, squint your eyes real good. So we are attacking in here first. And we will see how they're blocking. Maybe they're blocking with everything. Scrying is always good. Scrying is all. Yeah, I like that. I really do. I want that. We are blocking with both. That's good. That's really good. That is that is really good. So I can take care of both of them. And they will not be able to, you know, destroy me with their little token here. Okay. Maybe they're still trying. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. I mean, they, yeah, they got a treasure. But we still got the board advantage here. And if they have a loath or something like that, I still have first strike, so... That, that doesn't concern me too much, you know? A little bit, but not too much. Alright, so, what have you got here? Another champ, yeah, doesn't, doesn't like... That's, that's good, you know? That is real good. But if they're getting rid of the Wandering Emperor here, that is also real good. Like, I will have a look at their hand, steal something that I really like, and then we will see what we're doing. Alrighty. Midok Massacre in hand. What is this hand? Seriously? What? What is this hand? Oh, come on now. I hope they don't find a land. I really hope they do not find a freaking land here. Please? No land? No land? Give me a chance, game. 
Give me a chance. Come on now. No land. Real good. All right. So we're sacrificing this, of course. All right. Now they might have found a the land. They didn't. They didn't find a land. I like that very much. I really do. I really freaking do. So we're uh, doing this, of course. Gaining some life. Good. Real good. And we still have the Hive the Eye Tyrant. So they have to destroy the Lyza here. Otherwise they will be sad about it. They're not doing anything. Okay. I like it. I really freaking do. We go with the Nadar here. We don't have anything. Ah. Oh, that is once more a... Where is my Sanglass? No. A trying to defeat the Master of Mono Black with Mono Black situation, you know? Just... Just like that. Alright. Let's make him lose some life here. I really like it. I really freaking do. And, uh, yeah. We're doing this now. We are bringing down the Arkan. So if they have more than one thing, they kinda have to pay for it, you know? Kinda have to. And the thing is, even if they wipe the board here, we get everything back but the Liza. Everything. Yori go, Hexen! You freaking go! Mmm, mmm, or is it more like my go? Imagine I'm wearing sunglasses. The mass are mono black! Doing mono black things! Yep, 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 yep. So, I feel like the Invoke Despair here was a mistake on their end. But hey, we present all of this damage now. They don't even care. They don't even freaking care. Okay. So, uh, we're getting rid of this. It doesn't really matter. Does it now? Does it now? Will they discard? We decline! We're going down the tube of annihilation! Alright! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> decline once more! They... they just... <laughs> they got dungeon into oblivion! Oh! We made... we made our revenge here! Very good! Very good! I like it! I really do! Alright, so I'm really amazed how I was able to draw all four Precipitous Drop against that control deck. That was amazing. Also, the artifact deck drew pretty good. Early removal, and then later on, three freaking anvils. One was in their graveyard. Don't you forget about that. So they would have had three. They also drew the freaking... I just... I'm a little bit sad that we couldn't go like for a champion mode to just, you know, beat every single one. I would have loved that. But hey, for an alchemy built deck in standard, it was pretty damn good. So, but before we get into all of that, I want to thank all of my patrons members. As per usual, starting with Mazedo the Great Hottest, Randy Capo, Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vincent Mitch, Vicky White, Philippe Rodriguez, CS Jeremiah, Friends, Mike, on Mercy Nate, Steve O, Empty Back, Murphy, Luis Philippe Santos Press, Joe Telskiewicz, Nian Juan, Jose Tiran, Marcario Frescas, Caleb Horst, Troy Graham, Cordu, Benedict Semena, Oran, Jefferson Perito, Doc Vorpal, Billy Basham, Christian Rudik, Eon, Danny Montgomery, Jay Jackson, Ari Manazek, XV, Charlie Natrema, Rumi Ganev, Troha, Chris Diekman, Stan Gulecki, Psycho Drain, Stein Carlson, Alessandra Pelusi, Andrew Kelly, Bernard Jozowski, Xerins, Juan Garcia, Herman Dedens, Maisie Amy, Greg Brooks, Christopher Merritt, Samir Okwai, Eduardo Menes Filio, Drake Al, Teresa Deslam, Chad Ruberic, Vicky and Love Pill. A special thanks to our Gold Span Dragons. Waffles, Jen Newman, Simpson 605, Rico Colombo, Oli, Marco Marino, Mr. Maya, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Dub, Jeffs, Maya, Raven Chips, Paul English, Wolf, Katoon, and Ladder. Jason Brown, Silas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Nowitzki, Odorific, Dan Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Trent Reese, Enil Hale, Timmy, Jeremiah Willard, Jonas and Joe, Joe Travelard, RCP76, Brad W, Adam Shakar, Arian Winterfight, Dan Roma, Patheos, Kristen Armstrong, Grainer, Glass Onion, Ever Nothing, Load 6, Alessandro Maschi, Sandro Mock, Chris F, James Ferguson, Matthew Nunu, Sign and Blood, John Helena, Treader, and Lucas Zimmer. A special thanks to Nico Bolas, God Pharaohs, Chris Katowski, Grandav, William Smith, The Lacrimae, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, Quick Steel, Jonathan Zauer, Brownbeard II, Man's Room Louis, Matthew Donovan, Mike Mike, The Mike Mike, William Whited, and Greg Bartle. You guys and girls are pretty freaking sweet indeed. I really appreciate that you go on the XMI supporting channel with your hard earned cash. And if you, yes, I'm talking to you, are not on this list, but you want to be on this list, well, there's a button for the membership below every single video, and there is a link to my Patreon below every single video. You can support the channel there directly, but hey, if you don't have any hard and cash sharing, you still want to support the channel, 
There is other ways like, you know, where is it? Here it is. Subscribing. It is free. My my button was moved. I couldn't reach it here. So, uh, yeah, subscribing is free, my friends. It doesn't cost you anything. We're on our way to 11,400, which is crazy. Super crazy to me. It is just amazing how many people are united under the Malone flag. That is just awesome. So, would I change anything about the deck? I think I would cut at least one precipitous drop, put in one more removal here of the Infernal Grasp with Power and Kill. I mean, we do have all of these aggro Marlins, but we kind of also want to play them as lands. So if I would change anything, cut one drop, put in one Grasp. But you can do that if you want to. And you know, this is not the original deck. It is pretty close, but it is not 100% the original. Because, first of all, it's not alchemy, and second of all, it's best of one, not best of three. So, thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about dungeons. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.